Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this weird and wonderful AI channel. In this video, I want to share with you my run apart notebook for Comfy UI. This is a specific notebook that takes a lot of the bloatware and unnecessary um, downloads and installs on a run pod environment and uh, allows you to get started in less than five minutes with using Comfy UI. There's a lot of pods available. So what I mean by that is you've got a lot of Comfy UI pods created by the community. And many of these are pretty big in size. These are basically pre-made images that are deployed when you launch the pod. What that means is it can take uh, 10 to 15 minutes before you can actually get started with using Comfy UI. Uh, some of the pods are even bigger. Uh, they may take 20 minutes to 30 minutes and depending on what kind of GPU you're going with, again, it will elongate the time because the, the number of CPU cores that come with the GPU may be fewer, which means it takes a lot of processing time to get started with these. Let me show you in this video how you can utilize my uh, notebook to get started in under five minutes. So to demonstrate that, what we're going to use is we're going to use a very generic pod made by the Comfy UI team. And we're going to get started as I claim in less than five minutes. So let's see how we can do that. You download my notebook and you'll have these two files available. On RunPod, you want to use RunPod PyTorch, any of these 2.4 or 2.2 or any newer versions. Hit deploy choose the GPU of your choice. So I'm going to choose 4090 here. And I'm going to just edit the template and make one change here, right? So I'm going to add a port where Comfy UI will run 8188 to this. And depending on what I'm going to do, I may want to give it more volume on this disk. 50 gigs if I'm going to use SDXL models, uh, maybe 100 gigs if I'm going to use uh, Flux. Uh, dev for in for my image creation right and here on the container I can usually I start with 30 gigs which is enough so here for the purpose of demonstration we're just going to use 50 gigs so we have a counter ready to go and we're going to click on it as soon as we hit deploy right so hit deploy and hit start now the timer is running and let's see if we can get it done in under five minutes here we go, the pod has launched and we should see it getting started. And it's going to launch the Jupyter Lab where we will basically grab our notebook and put the notebook in there. So let's give it a few seconds for it to get ready and we should see the connect button pop up. There we go, it's ready. So that's how quick it is. Under 30 seconds, the pod uptime and we're ready to connect to our Jupyter Lab. We don't have this yet up and running, which because Comfy UI is not installed. So click on that. And the other benefit of doing it this way is that you get the latest version of Comfy UI installed each time because you're running the commands from this notebook. We're just going to grab and drag it over here. There we go. The notebook is uploaded. Double click on that to launch. And here the notebook will load up. It might look intimidating, but it's quite easy to follow. All we're doing is hitting play on various different sections of the notebook. The first one here is the environment variable must run. So we will click here in this box. The current box is blue. So that's how you know where you are. Click run. And we're going to come down to Comfy UI here and click run again. And now it's going to install Comfy UI into our workspace and it's getting the latest version each time from Comfy UI website or their GitHub page. Okay, that's interesting. It's taking a little bit of time. Here we go. Usually it's a few megabytes per second, but as we're doing a demonstration and recording it, it's gonna take its time. Here we go. Now it's installing the various different requirements. We just follow along. It's going to install all these packages. Great, it's done. 
Now we're going to install some essential Comfy UI custom nodes. So again, select the cell, click on play, and it will run that. And here we go. All right, we halfway mark there on the counter. Uh, and that's done. So we're up to here. What's next? We need to run this in the terminal. So we're going to copy this. Go back to our launcher, open terminal, and type paste this command, hit enter, and let this launch. This is going to launch Comfy UI for us. Now, the only thing that's missing is we haven't yet downloaded a model of choice. So here we have stable diffusion models, the standard ones, SD 1.5 and SDXL1. I'm going to install SD 1.5. Let's go back to this tab and when you see this message here to see the GUI uh, this is running that means our interface is up and as you can see here it says ready so click on that and that will launch Comfy UI. So here we go, under four minutes, we've been able to set up and launch Comfy UI. The only thing we're waiting on is the two models to be downloaded. You can see that's not gonna take very long, under 50 seconds approximately, so. And again, this depends on the speed, but you can see the speed is pretty good. I mean, that's faster than my internet connection at home. Um, so I'm gonna pause this, obviously proving the point that we can run up Comfy UI very quickly um, using this notebook. And the only thing is, now you have a lot more control with this because you can choose to install which models you're gonna work with. So if you want SD 1.5, you can install that. If you want um, a more fine-tuned model, something like a Juggernaut SD 1.5, that's also available here in the notebook. So you can just skip this step, skip that step, and just install it from here. So this is the 1.5, and this is the uh, SDXL model, the Lightning and the Standard. So I also have included the Flux model here, so you can in download the various different versions. This is Flux Dev. Uh, this is the Schnell model. You've got Dev FP8 model, as well as the clips, all the clips that you need. Um, and also included that Realism LoRa, which I've shared with you in the past. Um, in case something goes wrong and you find that command to launch Comfy UI doesn't work or there are problems, you can run this to clear Comfy UI and start again if you like. Uh, but in my testing, uh, it's been successful each and every time. I've also got this uh, tool here, which is the NVI Top. This is a great tool to let you monitor the GPU usage. So if you're running large batch jobs, and you want to see how the GPU is doing, you can keep an eye on it with some nice graphs that it gives you. So after you've um, run this, all you have to do is type NVI top in the terminal. So just open a new terminal, NVI top, oh, up and running. The only thing you want to make sure is that you do not close this one because that's the interface that it's running on. I'll provide a link to the blog post in the description below where you'll find some additional tips on how to manage exceptions with uh, Comfy UI uh, running it this way. Uh, but let's see, that's um, up and running. So that's the command line uh, NVI top. Now, if uh, we just refresh this by pressing R to make sure that the model is there and hit Q, that should load up the model and uh, basically run this prompt and generate the image in a few seconds. Of course, every time you run a new model, the first instance, it takes a few seconds extra, but once the model is loaded in memory, then it can run pretty quickly. Here we go. And of course, if we create a larger batch of eight images, for example, we can keep an eye on the GPU as well, queue it up uh, a couple of times, 
and just to show you what's happening here you will see the GPU utilization, the memory utilization, and the GPU utilization here. And this is a trending graph of how much GPU utilization we've had in the past and how much of the um, memory has been used up till now. So the notebook is available from my coffee store. Um, this is a paid notebook just in order to support the website, the channel, and keep creating this content for you guys. That would really help so if you can support in purchase this notebook if you're interested of course you don't have to you can certainly utilize the uh, pre-built comfy ui notebooks you can use any of these notebooks if you like but um, again i like to have more control and want to do what i want to do so i built this notebook just for that purpose gives me control and um, again, if you purchase this, you will also get access to future updates to this notebook, uh, which I plan to continue building. So hopefully you will support this cause and uh, um, thanks for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye bye.